Hi guys, welcome back to another Total Tyrant Unleashed. There have been some updates to both the Android and the iPhone version, which are pretty great in my opinion. Uh, if you notice, this, uh, oh, can't see it just yet. Let me, beeps. Yeah. All right, that's better. <laughs> Some on the fly adjustment there. Yeah, if you notice, the, um, they have this new flashing, hey, there's stuff going on now, which is great because sometimes they'll add stuff and you won't always know what's up. Um, it's pretty great because, you know, they've never had this before where it's had the complete thing. Does anything happen when I press it? Oh, this is. This <laughs> Wow, that's actually new. Huh. This is interesting. <laughs> complete, complete. It's great that they're giving out Warbucks again. It's been a while since they gave out more than two Warbucks at a time, so... That was pretty amazing. And there's more stuff still? Alright. Um, but it's it's a revitalized you know, They have made some improvements to the game, and I think this game won't be quite the same in a couple more months like they keep innovating they're adding stuff they're listening on the forums the uh tyrant unleash forums on congregate if you guys uh, aren't familiar just google it tyrant unleashed tyrant unleashed forums and it'll be like the first response in google or bing if you still use bing <laughs> um but you know it's a little um the forum it's a it's a little crazy sometimes but there's good information there uh, and it's a good community as well too so, um, right now, we're in the middle of the second leg of Rastax again, bringing back the Tazerok, Tazarius, and allowing the fusion of the Tazarekas into this guy, who's pretty interesting, the Rally Zeno goes up to 4, the heal goes up to 6, stacking for 7, and he jams at 3. So that's going to be pretty interesting. It's going to be. <laughs> it's going to be a nice. That extra attack is going to be pretty good too. Um, I'm currently working on fusing a trampling anvil right now. Um, since I already had the crushing, um, I was working on a noxious tank, but. <laughs> I figured this would be more advantageous to my deck to get this quad. Like I said, I said in one of my earlier videos, you know, quads are really good, so uh, make your deck really competitive. So I focus on the quads first. So I'm gonna finish out the trampling anvil, and then I'm gonna go to Tazareka, and then the Augabor. I swear this guy is problems. Every time I see him, he takes out like two, three of my guys. The evade plus the jam was surprisingly effective. And this guy's attacking for 10. He doesn't have pierce, but he's attacking for 10 when he's made. So I think he's one of the more effective um, single fusions in the game right now that are at two. Outside of um, special the packs that you pay for in the store. Outside of you know like the redemption box or all this special stuff, he's really effective. The evade and the jam and the attack is just uh, and it's like not a long delay. It's just very effective. And um, I put off making him earlier in favor of making the Havoc Genesis. Um, but. It's going to be time to make him soon, but I want to finish, I want to make this guy into a trampling anvil. I want to make this guy into um, the Tazirius, but I might I might make the Ogobor before I make a Tazirius. Anyway, um, Rastax is back. Um, a lot of jam, actually. It's pretty, like, it's not, it's not, it's not too crazy. I think this is definitely an easier way to get your hands on um, Tazarekas. So he jams every three. Again, this is not 
this is not a commander that's going to be available. They have a lot of commanders that have specially for events, and I, they're, they're, I'm pretty sure they aren't going to be available for any time soon. I figure they maybe, maybe they might add special commanders at some point in the future of the game, but I really can't see that for the next couple months, at least the next six months. Um, so it's going to be focused more on these on these kinds of cards. Um, honestly, that was not the optimal thing, but I didn't want to drop my Tazareka first. Um, this guy isn't that bad. I'm going to see who else comes out. If I get some of the four drops, then I could kind of recover a bit. Because this is <laughs> not going to look good, looking good for our heroes. So, um, I know some of you guys use Sims to decide best drop order. Um, sometimes you might have to switch it up. You might get a bit of leeway if you get something like, they have two four drops, like if they drop out first, then you could get your slow guys kind of up and running. Um, the Pierce is always good. Um, the Evade is still good again. Um, I don't really have much heals in the deck I carry. And I don't have much strike. I don't have any heals, I don't have any strikes really in the deck that I have right now. Mainly just pierce a little disruption and uh, a little protection. So the way I usually play card games in general is a little toolboxy. And um, again, you can see I'm playing a rainbow deck. Rainbow, again, just a variety of factions under um, Baracus, which is pretty much the best guy to have if you have a bunch of different factors going, factor, factions in your deck. So, he jams, this guy would jam, hope to kill him before he does it, but probably not, so definitely at this point, this is again a great example of when you would time out your Tazareka, this is why Tazareka I think is still better than, um, some of the other jam creatures, like one, a uh, one delayed jam creature. I know there's um some vindicator ones that I don't have. Um, not in a top five guild, so it's not gonna, <laughs> it's not gonna. I'm not, I'm not paying for event packs. Um, so it's not gonna happen really. But the one, the one delay guys that have jam on them are really good because a lot of cards you're gonna see will have will come out with two delay. <laughs> And this is the perfect opportunity for you to drop him and get rid of these guys. So, right now, he's going to stop at least this or this. I'm anticipating that the star former is going to die before he activates. So, this will be the perfect time. You have two valid targets that are going to get hit. And it's going to keep him from killing this guy. Um, it's going to keep him from starting to do anything too crazy. Um, the Spiteful Raptor is really great against guys with Inhibit. Look, just died. Um, see, just kind of kept these guys alive. It kind of jumped ahead really quickly there, but it kind of just kept those guys alive earlier. And it was a, it was pretty, it was a pretty easy victory in that side of it. Um, the PvP, I know, I heard there are changes coming. Like, there's ways to get different things out of this. It's not quite here yet. So, um, right now it's harder to get artifacts. I was able to do a Tier 1 Reinforce earlier. Um, from this, from the Xeno faction. I had 1, 2, 3, 4... Um, it's, it's just, it's really hard to keep track of, and also, the, I would, if there need, there really needs to be a faster way to get to this screen from your battle, your battle screen. Not, not even counting the weight, there's always a little bit of weight, so, let's say I go after, let's say I fight this guy right now, right? I, let's assume I have five other, um, let's assume I have five other artifacts. I have everything else besides the last artifact that I'm going to get from this guy. Again, stuff like this, I'll definitely drop a Tazer Wrecker, keep him from getting too crazy. Because he's going to counter me anyway. Um, 
the thing is right now, when you win a battle, some like I feel like once I've started a battle, someone's already attacking me right now and taking something from me right now as I'm doing this battle. And because it's it's way too fast, someone has to battle you to do the it's real time, um, which is something you know you feel like you end a battle and you get it, but someone's attacking you now, and also, um, there's a point where the game lags a little bit longer and you get the skip screen, that's when your last card is played. At this point, as soon as you see the skip screen with your last cards played, the game itself has already determine the winner and at this point the other person who's attacking you they can revenge you back at this point and steal back the art the artifact that you've won from them before it could even register it can it can happen just like that it happens a lot it doesn't always happen but it happens a lot so i just got that artifact right now i have to press deck this is a little bit of lag I have to press reinforce. It's a little bit of lag. Then I have to press this one. It's still there. If it were the blue one, it would likely not be there. If it was the sixth one, it would likely not be there. But it's just a great time loss into having to press, wait, and wait, and wait, and wait some more. You know, because, you know, I don't show how much servers there are on this, but... Um, the promote button, I would, it would really be great if the reinforcer were over here. It, take, it just takes a bit long to get over to the reinforce. So, um, I would like to hear if you guys are getting more reinforces done, like tier 2 reinforces. Um, I'm really interested in finding out because I haven't, um, I don't refresh much because of the positioning of the artifacts. They're usually against higher level opponents that have a lot of quads, have a lot of cards that they've paid for, and it's hard to win against them. And I feel that the artifacts are, before in the previous PvP system, um, a few months ago, maybe two months ago at this point, the artifacts were, you had a better chance. It was more evenly distributed, for lack of a better term. And now it's really more you'll see i find that i see more artifacts in the top levels i'm not sure how it is for refreshes because i don't do refreshes again if you refresh more than i do i would love to hear um your thoughts about it um but that's the plan for now and um i feel like these changes are going in a great direction i love that these guys are innovating i uh, love that the game is getting better they're making um, improvements, visual improvements, um, they're not being as stingy, uh, they're not being as, uh, stingy with the Warbucks, that was a great, that was a great thing to see, um, I'm not sure if, I think I'll probably save up for another, um, energy refill on this store, um, another plus max energy, because, um, at my job, <laughs> it's a little crazy, so, I can't, like, sometimes I'll lose a couple, I'll lose time to the game. So it's 500, I'm about 400 plus away from it, but it'll be worth it for me. Because there's just, as far as cards go, since I'm not buying um, these boxes, I have, you know, I have, car I have cards to work on. I have... You know, I have two Aegises. I can make a, a what's that? Masterwork Aegis. I have the smog tanks to make a noxious tank. I have to finish the anvil, make that into the um, the trampling anvil. I have uh, what's this? The divine equalizer. I could make. You know, the auger board definitely has to be made. Just, just, just stuff that are just like starting to pile up now, and um, I also want to max this out because I feel like Acarines will be probably coming out in the next six weeks or so. No, no hard fact, just a feeling I have based on the release cycle. Acarines were uh, released a while ago, so they're pretty due for it for coming back out. They might not want to. Um, it's a really powerful card, Acarine Vic. My God, I hate seeing that card. <laughs> But it's powerful. So 
um again let me know your thoughts uh, below and i'll see you guys soon take care bye